Alright, welcome back to Timbucks 2, our journey to the money cap. I can't believe it's been about a week since we've been at this, but I've been itching to play. So we're back, even if it's outside of schedule. And straight away, Sneaky Sicko is asking what's the name and source of this song. This song is by Andreas Woltoft. It's called Auxiliaries. It's from the European Universalis Rome soundtrack. I'm being asked if I'm going to conquer Iberia this session. I've already conquered all the Iberia I need. Algarve. I've been told so many different ways to pronounce this. I think I'll just stick to the basics. Algarve here is all we need for now. I'm contemplating crushing Portugal even more. It's not long before our truce is up. And you know, Lisboa always goes a long way, but to what end? Because I have to think about making the moolah. And owning Suvela would only really go so far towards that if I secured all the other Ivory Coast nodes. So that means Savella, English Channel, Bordeaux, and even the Caribbean. That's a scary thought. I'm not sure I want to go to all that effort because it will detract from the Operation Bucket Ducket. And uh, that would be having all of this, the Zanzibar trade node. We've eaten up a good chunk of it. There's not that much left to take. i got to take the, le the rest of these primitives over here. And we're already integrating Mutapa, and Ethiopia had the gall to take a whole bunch of land that we want here as well. And they're converting it to Coptic, they're just adding insult to injury here. So that's going to be 30 years of very unpleasant conversion chance. But there will be a time where Ethiopia butts heads with the Ottomans, and it's during that time that we are going to uh, crush them. Crush them to death. Still, there are so many avenues to grab ducats from. One other thing that I want to do is secure Malacca, because that's going to feed straight into Zanzibar. And Zanzibar is something that we're gradually getting more control over. So long as I keep the Cape of Good Hope plugged. There's also the question of all this trade over here, because, well, much of South America flows into Brazil, and if I keep the Ivory Coast secure, then that means there's not really going to be much of the Brazilian trade they get sucked away. Sure, Spain have a whole bunch of it, but hey, Timbuks too, and oh man, why does France get power here? That just disgusts me. They've put one ship here. Oh, of course, I, I almost forgot they have a couple of provinces here, including the coastal center of trade. I mean, France won't have these forever, but I'm always thinking about the money. I've got to get loads of dosh. Isn't Coptic one of the best religions in the game? Why don't you consider converting? Oh yeah, Coptic is the absolute best, but I have a whole load of Sunni land. A lot of land I want to take is also Sunni. It's just convenient. I guess if I was going for super maxing, then yes, Coptic would be better. Core creation cost is lovely too. But I have a grand total of one... Uh, one missionary, and I just don't go tolerant. So what's happening now? I've got loads of my units stuck over here, and we're pretty much waiting on the Portugal truce. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to attack them yet. I'm going to build up Spy Network and get all the claims I can on Madagascar. And our time will come for striking Ethiopia. We're in no hurry there. Same for Kielva. You know, I just kind of wish I had more diplomats, because there's so much more fabricating and taking land that I want to do. But as for the immediate future, I don't know what we're wanting, and we don't have any rebel problems, so we might as well save some money and carry on. You guys get to work. I want to find me some more lost cities of gold. It's also really nice with the... Uh... Yeah, that would be really nice as well, with any of these guys rising up here. I was going to say really nice, and I've already forgotten what I was going to be talking about. Good times. I'm also being told the audio is really quiet. Which audio? Me or the game? I mean, both of those can be fixed, but... But I'd need to know which. Oh, boy. See, the game knows it's on the Timbucks 2 run. That's why it's giving us loads of money already. Mutapa will be inside us in about... Uh, what's that then? Eight years? That sounds pretty good to me. Advisor's dying, however, it does not sound good. Trade efficiency. Thing is, I want both of these. Trade efficiency would bring in the ducats. 
But honestly, right now, not a whole lot of them. What I need are uh, lots of spy networks on the double. I'll help with attacking and help with all those claims. Now, I'm not sure to what use you guys are here right now, so I'm probably going to split you in half, or even better, just march you all back here, and then get you guys back over here, because i got plans for you. Plans that don't really involve you being there right now, so just get over to the moon for now. I'm not going to cry a river over the manpower loss from you guys being at sea. Yeah, I do like to keep my inflation uh, below the 5% threshold. Alright, so apparently I'm quiet. Man, it's a strange world. Okay, a testing, a testing, a one, two, three. Hell should be fine, but why worry? What will worrying get you? Well, worrying about the Norwegians might have kept them away from me while they did all of this, which is a real pain. I did not want anybody colonizing around here, which is why I'm kind of in a hurry to seal off the, uh, the Cape, but there are so many places that I want to be colonizing that it's a tough call where to go first. I certainly have the money to start more colonies, and that's likely what I'll do, since these ones are growing fast enough. And look at that, 95 per year over there. Oh, extra... Extra piety, extra everything, extra... Thank you. Thanks for implementing the new method for unit transportation by boats. It would just be worth a DLC for me. Wow. High praise. Not that it was me, I believe it was the AI programmer Gnevum, if my memory is serving me. And sometimes it serves me. Alright, so we lose quite a number of people at uh, sea there. Chomping right into our precious manpower. Well, what can you do? I know what you guys can do. You could uh, cut out a bit of that journey by heading over to Map Solo. I don't think we have to worry about these guys. You will slaughter them on the way. The Norwegians are over here as well. I hope they take forever building up that settlement. So I really need to start thinking about how much Zanzibar is worth to me. I already funnel out quite a lot of this money into Timbuks too, and that makes us half decent dosh. What I could do is not collect here, where I'd lose 10% and actually collect here. I might make uh, quite a bit more. So consider that. I make 646 now. Once you get there in a couple of months, we'll see if it's better than that. Because it goes down just by about 10% there. I do like missionary strength, but I also like keeping my ulema under finger. I do like mission now. We're good for that. They know we're good for it. Plus, stability cost, tax, it's all good. Really, it's a lot of good times for Timbuktu. I would say this is our golden era, but I'm not wanting to click that button just yet. I want to save that for when we go into hyper blob mode. And that day will come. The institution's tech penalty is not a big deal. Thanks to our spy network in Portugal, we're overcoming quite a lot of it. And that's even better for spreading those spy networks. Punished Trump is asking some strange questions. He's wondering what we had for dinner. I don't see how that has any bearing on, frankly, anything here. But if you must know, I had some uh, potatoes with some chorizo and gorgonzola. And it was delicious. So, a bit of a situation pulling away all my units from here since we might get revolts, but... They will be back in seven years to deal with the last of these primitives. A long way away from dealing with Kilwa, and there's no point in fighting Ethiopia until they start duking it out with the Ottomans, which we're confident they will. They stand right in the way of the Ottomans' path. The Ottomans are probably going to want that gold as well. I guess the worst case scenario is they could go friendly, but Ethiopia is hostile with them, and they'll probably rival each other eventually, if I had to guess. And I guess. One of the problems is I'm quite tired, and when I'm tired, I always make loads of mistakes, so here's hoping that doesn't happen. 
One thing is, Colony certainly has a need to be at the top here, so... In fact, colonists still need to be shown at all. Netherlands defy Burgundian oppressors. It's probably telling me this because I am Burgundy's rival, right? Yeah, that's exactly it. Alliance with Netherlands or... Ooh. I don't know, this really is not our war. I don't want to lose 10 prestige, but I do not care about the Netherlands whatsoever. Then again, they are allied with France, and they might pull me into wars involving France that'll keep France off my hind legs. No, it's still not our war, so forget that. Portugal's under attack, worth joining the attack. We have a tonking truce with them, and it's really nice to see Tunis bite into them. It's almost tempting to offer them an alliance to see if they would return this land to Morocco. But they might not even like Morocco. Neutral, neutral. I mean, I can wish, but I'm sure we'll be fighting the Portuguese soon enough for the rest of that land. I also want to pay to get the rest of my units restored. And would you guys uh, please continue on the hunt? I need you to stop being so useless. Alright, this is also good news. I could embrace the printing press, but it would cost buckets of ducats once more. And it's probably more in my interest to wait for it to spread to Yoma and Shackleton. Would only take about five years. The question is, is it worth it to save uh, to save on the money when it's the monarch points that are really costing? And I don't think the answer to that is yes. I think the answer is I should embrace so that I can tech up all that much cheaper. Regrettable, really, because I hate spending loads of money, but I also really need to get this tech dealt with. Still, there's no hurry for it right now. No hurry for it at all. This colony. That colony is taking its sweet time. This colony, on the other hand, is almost done. In fact, it'll be done in a couple of years. I'm thinking I'll just recall you right now. Hope that those guys don't rise up. I'm actually going to send you over elsewhere, probably over to here. And once that's landed, I can start using you guys. Hell, why wait? Waiting's for suckers. 742941. I think I'm going to grab you guys and send you down there. And I'm also going to wonder where where my uh, cannons are. Okay, I only had three all along. I'm somewhat disappointed in myself. But I'm not at tech 13, so I don't care too much about extra cannons. Maybe edicts can help the spread. I am already... Uh, here we go. I'm already using the advancement edict. And I think, I think it's now gone past its usefulness over here. Because we've got the printing press here and it's going to take forever to go there, so it's no longer really worth spending the extra. Plunk. I don't know, I might just hold out. It's only six years. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. I might change my mind entirely on that one. Now what I want to do right now is get myself over to the New World. It's nice there, potentially. Still takes an age and a half to get there though. Jake, can you buy the institution spread increase with Splendor anytime soon? Yeah, how about last session? That 50% bonus is really rather nice. These guys are terrible at uh, doing the search for the seven cities. 
Oh, I'm gonna feel real bad if uh, my units get defeated here. Oh, I feel real bad. Fortunately, there aren't even enough of them to uh, to fight there, but that does tell me that I need to actually have some maintenance, or else my units just get kaput. Okay, speaking of getting kaput, why don't you get there? The Axe Institution won't pop until 1600, so we've got bags of time here. Double back sooner, or else those guys are going to give me a uh, hell of a bad time. And keep those conversions going. Question is where? The answer is obviously everywhere, but seriously, where? Well, I want to get all this done. I don't want to have any revolt issues here. But generally, should go with the ones that have the biggest impact. That's right, you guys are still fetishist. I think I'm going to kill those natives, actually. All things considered, you guys can get back and we'll just crush them. Also tells me I kind of wish I had the extra boat to uh, move you along here with. I could chance walking you back here. But, well, we are always on the clock here. We're also not in that much of a hurry. Good, we got all this stuff cored up. Territorial cores at least, but the thing is, I can't see myself stating really any of this anytime soon. This is where I feel like a fool to find that I've already stated it, but no. I mean, I want the gold, <clears throat> for sure. But if I recall well, Ethiopia already beat us to it, to 10 development of gold as well. We are definitely going to wrestle that off of them. And that certainly will become a state of ours. That's good because it includes Zanzibar as well. In fact, this is one very healthy state. It's a shame that he's converting it all. What a, uh, what a travesty. But what I'm getting at here is that I don't want to deal with any revolts around here. And I can totally see the revolts coming. Not over there, but these kill them guys and such. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, state all this stuff and then give them the autonomy that they so desire. And then tell them, nah, not really, when it comes to the whole state business. It's cheap and it's certainly effective. As long as I don't press the wrong buttons here. Like I said, I'm pretty tired. And I'm an expert at making these kinds of mistakes when I'm tired. But all in all, there's no real effect to our economy by doing that, and it will get rid of all of these guys that want to revolt on us, because I don't want to deal with revolts while I'm uh, gallivanting across the world. Dev Multiplayer is going to use Custom Nations. Will Greater Denmark make a glorious comeback? How I wish it would. It uh, It's very unlikely, though. I don't think anybody's going to be using a Greater Denmark build. Would be awesome, but I've got to be realistic here. Alright, so I have a problem. And that problem is... Okay, well this is another one of my problems. I think you need to get over there and slaughter these guys. Okay, well at least I got my manpower back for that. There we go. I'll get another one of you and I'm going to kill the natives here so that they adopt my religion and my uh, culture. Because as I've said many times before, I'm not a very tolerant individual. Hello France, you're really not very happy with me. I could do with you being a lot happier. But there are lots of things that I could do with. One such thing is uh, more claims around here, especially on 14 development provinces. When I come back, I want this all claimed so I don't pay dip, and I get a juicy 10% off of coring it. Ivory Coast, is, uh, Ivory Coast is the ultimate trade node, so I want it. As we can see, I'm making more money from trade ever since I smacked my, uh, smacked my trader over here. Sadly, these natives are still drinking quite a bit of it. 
Even Ethiopia is collecting here, he gets a big malice for it not being his home node, but then so do I, which is also a pain. More like DDR genocide, well, yes, that is certainly one way to put it. I like my fair share of genocide. Okay, so we are here, I don't want to have to deal with quite a few things we see here. I gotta remember to butcher these guys in the next year, it's totally like something that I would forget. But since we are full of truces, here, there, and everywhere. Oh, I really want to get some uh, some technology. Then I can start taking um, some military ideas. I think I was humming and hoeing over what my next idea would be, but really, I want better armies right now. Army tradition and military drill would go a long way towards that. Also, making my armies cheaper. Making my everything cheaper. I think I really want defensive... It's not a money maker, but it would slay my enemies for me. And that's a big plus. It would also allow me to balance out my tech a bit, because I'm uh, I'm running too far ahead with mill here. Okay, it's a shame to pay as much money as I'm about to pay here. But it's for the points. Shock. So very cheap. So very cheap. Shame I can't uh, redo that though, but here we go. Let's get those defensive ideas. I would realistically want trade ideas, but we can get around that soon enough, because I'm going to want tons of uh, merchants. I will likely get trade at tech 18, uh, and then economic at 22, or switch the two. Depends how we go with the traders. And exploration might even be ditched later on, we'll see. But for now, I want far better armies. I also get my cola nuts. We've all wanted cola nuts all along, right? Okay, looking good, but what in the world am I actually doing here? Well, what I'm doing is wishing that I had a free diplomat, so much as it pains me to drop my spy network on Portugal, I am doing so. I'm also, of course, paying my army, right? And that's another thing that I would certainly forget. This guy just wants to disappoint me at every turn. It's like he looks at the sea and goes, okay, I can go no further. So, natives are gonna die. This will cost one. Yeah, that's fine by me. Splat. Now, unfortunately, I need to send another colonist here for this to work out, so this is why I need to have good timing here. Where is that colony of mine? I have to ask myself as well, do I really want this? And the answer is kind of yes, so... I'll send you back there just to uh, purge the natives, because I love a bit of genocide. <clears throat> and then we're going to start thinking about Spanish Brazil. Remove the state edict, Jake. Yeah, well thought on that one. Not that it's uh, costing us too much money, but we're all about making money here, not wasting it. And I think that clears... Yeah, we're not running with other state edicts. There's not any need in our build right now for more of them. Let's get that awesome siege guy, and let's look at Spanish Brazil. They want an alliance, that's really cute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Espirito Santo in South America. There's nothing else I need to do at peace, right? Hopefully not. Time to die. So, I think uh, four regulars should be able to take the south. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that should be plenty. Because their capital is up north. Let's go rock and roll. And let's hope that these uh, natives don't revolt against us. Merchant guilds hate us, the emirs like us. It's a shame, because I think the merchant guilds are already a bit cheesed off with us. And there's not a lot I can do to help them out with that. Also, they have a lot of say in our country. I'm trying to run a build that has good uh, merchant guilds. But, I don't know, my manpower is always something I've been pretty bad with. And i got to drop that dip power anyway, so... Too bad. Did Jake just declare a war against Spain and France? Nope, just Brazil. I don't like the fact that Brazil exists. 
And uh, incidentally, in this game, Brazil's existence also irks me. So we're going to take him down. be in luck to go and destroy you, because that appears to be all of your army, so down you go. I should, or would be very clever to, also start exploring these lands. Because I don't want to have to move around too much here. Good, he was trying to run, but he's too slow. Actually, just get you back there. You can go up to Santo once you're done. Down, down they go. No one likes Brazil existing. It gave us Vandal in the band. I really don't think anybody likes uh, Brazil existing. It's just a fact of life. <laughs> 